Hello, my friends! Welcome back to the adventures of Eärendil. We just spent a night here in Dawnstar in northern Skyrim, and soon we will venture forth to the Fortress of Ice. But if memory serves, that place will be quite a challenge. So we're going to do some special preparations. That means stocking up on a lot more potions, and possibly crafting our first custom spells. So we'll be doing that for a little while. And then the dungeon delving shall begin. On a dark, cool day like today, those who devote their lives to the mystical sciences are at their busiest. Outside, people look into the sky and view the coming winter with dread. All in the Mages Guild are as active with mystic energy as they might be on any day, including the books and relics that line the shelves. Okay, so I just spent a long time experimenting with the Spellmaker and learning more about it online. Apparently, you can only have a total of 32 custom spells at any given time. So I do have 32 custom spells now, and I might make some changes to them later on. You know, there are a few adjustments I've already thought about, but for now, I'm pretty happy with what I've got. I'll show you some of these here. I've also done some renaming of some of the known spells. So now I have a total of four shield spells, and I named them Arcane Shield just so that they'd be here at the top of the list. I also have Create Floor, Create Wall, Create Walls. So this Create Walls is just my renaming of Earth Wall, which creates four walls. So I go to experiment with what is, you know, uh, how, does, how different is it? What kinds of different things can you do with a spell that just creates one wall versus one that creates four walls? And uh, Create Floor just creates one floor. I've got Cure, Curse, Cure Disease, Cure Poison. So these I might combine later on into a Cure All spell. Uh, destroy Floor, Destroy Wall. Uh, and these I've set to just destroy one floor, one wall. Uh, the default spells destroy three walls, or three floors respectively. Such as the spell called Pass Wall. But uh, yeah, I've decided uh, I don't feel a need for that. I, th I think destroying one wall at a time, or one floor at a time, is perfectly sufficient. I also have a few interesting spells here. Arendil's Mirror is, of course, a spell reflection spell. And I also have Arendil's Charm to boost personality, intelligence, and luck. Arendil's Focus, which boosts willpower, agility, and luck. And Fury, which boosts uh, strength, agility, and luck. I might get rid of the Focus one later on. I mean, the main purpose of this would be if I want to really boost my... Uh, natural spell resistance through my willpower, but I might not really feel a need for that in the future, but Arendelle's Fury and Charm will definitely come in handy. Uh, this for combat, and this for getting extremely good uh, prices for uh, items I want to buy from blacksmiths, mages, and so forth. Anyway, I also have some fire spells, of course, some fortify strength and speed. This one is just my renaming of orc strength. And, uh, uh, you know, sometimes you just want to be able to move a little faster, so I figured Fortify Speed sounds like a good one. Um, I mean, it would be tempting to also have Fortify Agility and so forth, but again, I already have these up here that combine uh, several attributes in one. You can only have up to three effects in a custom spell, it seems. And anyway, I have some cross spells here, two healing spells, Invisibility, Levitate, Light, and Light Ranged. Lock, open, paralyze all, poison cloud, regeneration, some resistance spells, sanctuary, shock spells, silence, spell absorption, and stamina and strength leech. Okay, so for now, that's what we are set up with. And in a moment, 
I will be trying out that Arendil's Charm spell. Because I do have some things to sell. And I have some repairs to make. If we look at my items here... My Silver Buckler of Willpower is in used condition. That's not too bad, but my Steel Dagger of Agility. Battered. Very bad condition, so we need to get that repaired. And I might repair my Crystal of Healing as well, so its charges can be built back up again. And anyway, we still have over 10,000 gold, even after all that spell crafting and buying of potions and so forth. So we are pretty well set for the rest of the game. Um, oh, we have another in here. Let's just check this out. Dirty Noose. That does not sound particularly appealing. And I'm just checking out inns because if we're doing repairs, we'll probably have to stay in an inn for about 10 days. Howling Saber. arrive at the worm's accoutrements with the warmth. You find a few useful items immediately. This is a rather impressive blacksmith shop. One of the largest I've ever seen. Pretty cool. In fact, let's check out what this side room looks like. There's not much point in checking out things like this other than just for role-playing purposes or personal curiosity. You know, I don't think there would ever be any sort of hidden loot or anything like that. Anyway, so that's kind of fun. Let's go ahead and sell a bunch of items. So we need to wait 10 days for those three repair jobs to be done. In the meantime, before we stay at an inn, let's go ahead and check out the port of Dawnstar, over here to the west. Ice sheets to the north, beautiful mountains to the west. Dawn Star is lovely this time of year, if rather cold. Let's go ahead and save. Greetings, High Elf. I am Jurgen Zolrusen, a typical poet, and I write light verse and important sonnets. Inn is a bit south of here. Interesting architecture. I wonder what sort of nobles might live here. If I were playing a roguish character, of course, I might take a much closer look. Here we have some inns. The Dirty Crow's Nest. 
And here, next to this unsavory character, we have the Lucky Port. I wonder how lucky it is for folks like myself, or rather, folks like this gentleman. Who are you? Well, I ain't a Dawnstar tourist guide. I guess you can call me Fenrin Aronson. That's me business name. Heard any interesting rumors? My prophet says Somerset Isle is doomed to sink beneath the sea. He did not specify when, but it sounded like soon. Not a very nice thing to say to a high elf. I imagine he just made that up. He's trying to ruffle my feathers. Well, you know what? I think I'll steer clear of the lucky port. And try my luck in the dirty crow's nest. overcast autumn day like today, the dirty crow's nest is very popular and you can see why. It certainly lifts the spirits. And here we have the innkeeper. Have you heard anything interesting? <laughs> wow, the same doomsday prophecy about Somerset Isle, huh? Well, I might try to find a new prophet. Um, how about a room? A single. Ten days. Any gold? Perhaps a light drink? feeling like a bit of red wine. Let's go ahead and rest up a bit. And now, before we continue our 10-day stay, let's go ahead and cast the highest Arcane Shield spell that we can cast. I think Arcane Shield 4 is still too high for the amount of spell points that I currently have. Yeah, not enough spell points. Let's do... Arcane Shield 3. Takes up almost all my spell points. Let's see how long it takes to... Well, no. Let's just go ahead and say... How many hours do you wish to rest? Well, let's go with, uh... About... 238. Eleven in the morning, on Turtis, third of evening star. Excellent, excellent. Why does it seem like my fatigue might be slightly low? In this first renter room. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So we've used up our time. Foggy day. We'll make our way back to the worm's accoutrements. We can recover our repaired items. Hello there, poor beggar. Who are you? Ah, Moyens Asgarnison thinks it's a good high elf to come talk to him. What can Moyens Asgard Asgarnison do for him? Rumors. This year's harvest looks great. There should be a lot of celebrating. Thank you. Good day. And a juggler.
Oops, we need to go a bit north. now dare to enter the Fortress of Ice. We shall save... Oh, let's see. We can go ahead and put this save right there. And here we have the Fortress of Ice. Floor. Another gorgeous stonework. Here we have frost wolves. Oh my. We're in pretty good shape so far. But this will be a challenge. I don't even remember this part of the game very well. I'm not sure if I ever completed this dungeon before, to be honest. I can't quite remember how far I went with my first arena character. I think I made it to this dungeon. I might have even completed it and gone a bit farther, but my memories of that are a bit vague. So as far as I know, this might be my first time ever seriously venturing into this fortress of ice. interesting dungeon layout here. And already we have stairs leading down right there, I believe. That's cool.
just for fun, because it's fun to be able to write on maps, and we'll mark the entrance. to slay. I'm surprised I've not heard their howling. So far, I seem to be pretty well protected. I'm not sure if that's just my natural spell resistance due to my high willpower, or just some good luck, or perhaps my shielding, although I don't think my shielding necessarily protects me from damage from spells. There's that howling I love. Let's get a bit more light going. to be able to damage two enemies at once. The power granted by the Agla Infinium is definitely serving Arendil very well. Let's look at my stats once again. 50 strength, 80 intelligence, 80 willpower, 95 agility, 60 speed, 100 endurance, 50 personality, 60 luck. We're doing very well. Perhaps at some point we'll boost our strength even more, and so forth. We shall see. More wolves. Ah, there's more down there. Eh? I was thinking I might have reached the uh, southern boundary of this fortress. But Eirendil senses that there is more. Oh my, now this is a new enemy. This is an ice golem. For all I know, I might not be able to damage it with this weapon. I probably should have done a bit more research before uh, jumping right into this uh, fortress here. Let's go ahead and try out some of our new custom fire spells. Ooh, that did the trick. We're now a puddle of water. Nothing more. That was lovely. Didn't even cost me too much in spell points either. I like these doors. As well as these icy walls and floors. Not seeing a lot of loot. But oh well, that's fine. I don't think I'm noticing any secret doors so far either. Speaking of doors, we can create our own. Let's destroy this wall.
and destroy one more. So far, this is proving to be not too hazardous. Perhaps that's thanks to our very powerful custom shield spell, as well as uh, all the benefits provided by the Agma Infinium, of course. We haven't faced too many enemies, and those we have have proven to be not too much of a challenge. These are famous last words, however, so Avrindil is not going to get overconfident. He knows there is definitely the possibility of getting overwhelmed here if he's not careful. Hmm. may notice the apparent game speed changes now and then. That's basically just a function of how much stuff the game is having to compute at a given time in terms of what's around the player, what's visible ahead of the player, etc. You know, I don't know the full ins and outs of it, but uh, there will be times when things are bogged down, other times when things are very fast. But no big deal either way. Ah. Try your chest. Oh boy, our shield must have gotten used up. Let's do shield two. And what else can we do? Oh my goodness. I think we have enough to heal one. Very low on spell points now though. So yes, we have definitely seen signs of Arendil's vulnerability. But we still haven't died yet. Eighty gold. And what have we here? Hmm. For convenience, since we are so low on spell points, we currently have fifteen. Let's go ahead and just use a mark of opening. This is an example of silly design. You know, if you want to equip a different mark, <laughs> it will warn you here, you can only equip one mark. Well, obviously, I want you to unequip the previous one and equip the new one. So, a little bit silly, but uh, you know how it is. Sometimes, especially with older games, there are occasionally some clunky design choices. Mark of opening. So I guess that didn't work. There we go. Only 49 gold. Well, that was still fun. I'm guessing there are enemies nearby. Yes, indeed there are. We do have potions of restore power if we get desperate to recover spell points. And so far there don't seem to be any safe places to rest. At least as far as I can tell.
Another chest opens with the aid of magic. Lovely. Maybe I'll try to rest here. Cannot can't. Oops. We still have some shielding. If I try to rest in this corner. No, that's still not gonna be far enough away. More beautiful loot. This one is an insult to my abilities, you say. Well, what if I just try my hand at lockpicking? Yep, that worked. I believe intelligence contributes to that. And it's definitely an option, even if you are not playing as a thief or other roguish type of class. have you orcs in this ice fortress? Okay, so we've cast Arcane Shield 3. Two spell points left. Let's hope we can do some more resting. So we've thoroughly explored this corner. Get some more light going. Picked that lock. A crystal, eh? So we are now carrying... How much? Seventy kilograms. We can carry up to thirty more. You are done for, little wolfie. Whoops. Hm. Sadly, these tunnels don't seem to be extensive enough to be very useful as places to rest or run. 
run away from enemies. They're just like interesting cracks in the eyes, I suppose. spot. <laughs> oh my, that was interesting. It seems that perhaps I can attack because I'm climbing up. Or at least in that case I could. I'll have to experiment with that some more. Frost breath shall not avail you. I am a servant of the secret fire, wielder of the flame of Anor. And there we go. Now we're suddenly low on health. try resting down here. I don't think that's a good idea in this case though, since these aren't actually tunnels that go anywhere. They would just leave me vulnerable down below. So let's risk a bit of resting here. Enemies nearby where spells will light up the area. It's very cool. Very nice effect. I suppose that's one bonus for those who do not use light spells.
we have knights. This might be more of a challenge. We'll see. Let's go ahead and cast Arendil's Fury. These knights look a tiny bit silly in my opinion. You know, as I've said before, I do think some of the enemy sprites are very effective. Others, I think, are a little bit goofy, but uh, they're not too bad. And they get the point across, you know, you definitely see that they're in heavy armor. They were using bows a lot. Maybe they weren't knights. Let's see. Yeah, they were knights, okay. Well, we're carrying a lot of heavy stuff at this point. Let's go ahead and drop unenchanted heavy items. And press D to drop if you're using default controls. We do have an enchanted longsword, an enchanted plate helm. This new crystal, I wonder what it does. Okay. Not too shabby. Agility is still fortified. Very nice. Let's take a glance here. Strength 65, so we have damage plus 3 for a little while longer. And to hit and to defend plus 10, that's beautiful. So. And our luck is enhanced. It's always nice too. Luck helps just about everything. for me, yay. Lock. Well, I have a friend named Mark who I'd like you to meet. There we go. Okay, I need to drop some more items. This is an interesting dungeon. Some of these walls are very thick, a bit more costly to get through via magic. That's fine.
Let's try that run and jump again. There we go. Good to save a lot if for no other reason than being able to re-roll bonuses when leveling up, just in case. <laughs> in addition, of course, to the risk of suddenly dying at any given time. I mean, you never know when somebody might bombard you with some deadly spells from behind or something like that. Again, let's go ahead and cast our Arendil's Fury, just in case. Don't want to take too many risks in here. Where's your buddy? platform. A little bit ominous. Let's go ahead and leap atop it if we can, or just climb up. So far my jumping isn't working. Oh, I guess sometimes your mouse pointer location does matter for doing a shift J for jumping as well. Let's go ahead and see if this might be a safe spot for resting. Then again, we are still fortified. Well, regardless, let's try it out. Enemies nearby, never mind. Check our map. Interesting, interesting. I wonder if these are the quarters for various warriors guarding the treasures of this place. Someone attacked me from behind. Yeah. Still fortified, that's good.
Wonder how many rooms there are like this. And are these just a bunch of brigands using this place as a convenient home? Or are they servants of some evil sorcerer? Perhaps we'll find out. fortified any longer. Perhaps I can remedy that. Ha! It claimed one of my attributes is already fortified. That's funny. and armor shall not avail you. spell points for healing or just about anything else. Let's use our crystal of healing. Tempting to go back, but uh, hmm. no, in this case, I don't think I'll waste time on going back on this one um, because that fight took quite a while. Let's go ahead and what shall we do? At some point, we might lose our item that gives us plus 10 endurance, so it is a little tempting to increase this. Well, and also that item might not be giving us, you know, items that boost your endurance might not contribute to the health modifier when leveling up, like I had previously assumed. So let's go ahead and put this into endurance. Nice. Okay. We'll call that good.
<laughs> you are amused by this lock. Easily opened. A new torque and longsword. Ah, an enchanted longsword. Ah, this torque is superior. You can only equip one torque, yes. Okay. Beautiful. Now we have an even better armor rating. nearby, that's unfortunate. I believe we have no shielding. Let's restore some power via potions. In your face, warrior. Come on, bring it. I see the gaps in your armor. It does take a while when I'm not fortified. Excellent. Arcane Shield through. Beautiful. And now let's do have some more light again.
as we complete our exploration of this interesting area. Fury. Don't let me down. All this loot handling is getting a bit tedious, and we are already quite wealthy, so perhaps I will cease attempting to collect so many items, which even if they're enchanted I won't be able to use. Yeah, I suppose I'm through with that. No need to be accumulating Tons more wealth, maybe I'll take items just for, or weapons, I mean, just for fun. Nothing to fear from me, you say. Cast our own open spell. Oops, where do I have that? There we go. Nice.
how close I can be. Okay, I can be as close as this, where I can't even see the enemy and still seem to be hitting them, that's good. Okay. It's kind of funny to experiment with old games like this. a little bit of offensive magic against these guys. Let's see how I like getting shot. Not sure how much damage that did, but presumably a little bit. Okay, we need another shield spell. the high ground. So long, little warrior. You shall not last long. fight to be sure, but we are low on spell points. I don't want to waste too many potions. There we go, finally. Okay, hopefully we can rest once again. have a bit of shielding. So let's go once more into the fray. Perhaps I can take advantage of a corner here. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. I 
light spell has diminished. I vigorously shake my mouse at you, sir. And yes, I shall use some potions of restore power. Cast Arendelle's Fury. Nice. Dagger's broken! Oh my goodness, I worried about that. So many attacks. Against well armored foes, and that steel dagger of agility has not held up. So now our agility will be lessened. Oh my gosh, and I think I recently dropped <laughs> that uh, uh, the only mundane dagger that I had found along the way. That is unfortunate. Okay then. Do I have... Hold on, do I have the ability to use my fists? Oh, maybe I have to unequip it explicitly. Agility 85. I can't be equipped. I wonder if I'm somehow blocked. Somehow blocked from using hand to hand. Okay, this is bad. Let's see if we can get. Where did I put that? See how you like some fire in your face? I wonder what that sparkling means. Does that mean they resisted the spell? I'm not sure. I don't think so. So, yeah, let's do some more. That got you. Okay. Well, somewhere around here, I had dropped a dagger or two. Let's see if I can find one. Nope. Can't even use a Tonto, unfortunately. I think that sound was a door automatically closing. And not an enemy approaching, thankfully. Well, the best. The rest of this dungeon delving might not go quite as smoothly as I was hoping. So there we go. Dagger and a buckler. Perhaps I'll try to rest here. So here we see Agility 85. So I had... Previously had it boosted up to 95. That's fine. That's still very high agility. I think we're going to be okay. I will just definitely want to hold on to more daggers and stabs as we go along. Why is it still... Is the game broken? Why is it still going? That was weird. Okay. Um, when I finally clicked it, stopped. That's funny. Okay. Okay, and shield three. And resting again. 
heal that. Good. Now let me just see if I unclip the dagger now. There we go. So now it lets me do this. So I guess if it breaks while it's in your hand, it might restrict you if you don't have another weapon to equip. That's a bit silly. Seems to be a bug, but oh well. So it goes sometimes. And check a few of these piles for possibly one more dagger. rooms, but I'm not too worried about that. I shall continue my northward march. That dagger is already broken. Enchanted daggers may last longer. Well, okay. Erendil is now finally forced to rely more fully on his magical abilities. So I'll tell you what. For now, you know, I could just go invisible for a while. But I think I'll experiment with some of my area of effect spells, such as Fire Blast. Let's see. Cast that again. Wait. There we go. One more time. Come on. There we go. Well, that took care of them. It was a little bit awkward, but that did take care of them, and that's nice, but our spell points are now almost completely depleted. And 
again, I seem to be prevented from using my fists. I wonder why. What if I equip and unequip my buckler? Will that make any difference? Very strange. It's as if my hand is still equipped to the broken dagger, but I did drop it. Can't equip that one. Hmm. Let's try without any anything equipped to either of my hands. Oh well. Hmm. Let's get that silver bucker of willpower back on. And we shall simply make the most of our situation. Still fortified and shielded, but... Is that worth to us in this state of having very low spell points? Yeah, I really probably should try to rest up. Resting bug going on. All right. So I can't at the moment wield any weapons. Must be very judicious with my spell casting. said I doubt my ability to pick that lock, but I did still succeed. That's good. And there's nothing in the barrels, of course. They are just decoration. Series. Don't know what those will do. Might be worth trying sometime just for fun. architecture and uh, let's see here whoops come on my controls aren't working let's go ahead and uh, cast some fire spells on these adorable little wolfies um, got you 
com o dia. Very effective, but I can see that I can't do that too many times without resting. This really is going to be a, a challenge. Due to my weapons not lasting as long as I would like. Erendil's hmm. fire magic is very effective. So there is at least that going for me. some kind of obelisk here. Very interesting. Oops, um, I can do better than that. Let's get a running jump going. Oops, too far. Okay. A greetings obelisk. Activating it doesn't seem to do anything. That's fine. You face Ayrendil, master of all things arcane, including fire magic. Erendil has come a long way from his humbler times when he was first taken prisoner. Somehow Jagar Thar knew that he could be a very serious threat if he were allowed. To achieve his potential. Well, Jagar Thar. You better continue fearing me. There we go. Another ice golem down. Hmm. I'll mark the obelisk there. Melted. You guys just don't know when to give up, do you? Uh-huh. 
interesting waterway here. Not sure if it will really take me anywhere I want to go, but it's possible. attacking me. Oh goodness gracious. Let's go ahead and just get on our way. I don't really want to deal with too many knights and warriors. Okay, buddy. Thankfully, you've put yourself in a rather dangerous position. Actually, I don't have a lot of spell points to waste, so... Let's take stock of our surroundings. And perhaps just go invisible for a while. How do you like me now? Hmm. Ah, an ice cold man. Very interesting. Fun to see what they look like from different angles. Another interesting room. designs on top of these platforms. Try sleeping here. And we're stuck. Jumping out. There we go. Let's go invisible again. Piles of junk. More piles of junk. So I think we can pick up loot without 
removing our invisibility, just like we can open doors. But if I were to cast a spell or attack, then I would lose it. Of course, in our current state, we can't seem to attack at all. Not until we get a new dagger or staff. Our invisibility had worn off, but I'm not sure why. I don't think, well, maybe the timer had already been used up. But I thought it would have lasted longer than that. No matter. Ice golems are so weak to fire, they're pretty easily handled. chest. <laughs> Lots of enchanted long swords. to rest, that ice golem puddle should go away. Ah, okay. There we go. I think I've explored that room yet. At least I haven't gotten into that corner in any case. Um, Double check a couple of these rooms for a discarded dagger. Although, even if I find one, I think I might just equip it and then unequip it so that I can just use good old hand to hand for a while. So, that might not be a great option, maybe at least better than having no weapon. 
to drop the other dagger much earlier. No matter. Let's explore farther north for a little while. struggling to find me. <laughs> Silly warriors. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Is there something in the way there? I'm not sure what's going on with them, but I'll leave them stuck in that corner. here. Northwestern corner. Very nice. Let's go invisible again. Oh, that may have been a bit premature. Locked without a spell. It's a very low chance of success. Never mind. like frost. Not too well it seems. How about lightning? A staff. Well that's nice. Let's drop a few things. No saber rattling for me. And we have a mystery potion. 
you see a decanter of black speckled fluid, webs of scum floating at the surface. Lovely. Thank you for the staff. We might not be able to reach the other orb, unfortunately. Oops. Oh my goodness, I think I've been pressing the wrong button. I wonder if I was pressing the wrong button that whole time. Silly me. Of course, with default controls I should just be pressing A to equip or unequip, in other words, to be ready to attack. A for an attack, I should remember that. It's worth it to have a staff for a little while. And we'll see if pressing A after it breaks really does work for bringing up my fists. Enemies nearby. Where? Get out of here. Well, I don't want to cast a spell right now. A little tempting to just go crashing through that wall, but not necessary. Very interesting design. The fact that the walls are not the same everywhere, or the floors and ceiling for that matter, is a very nice touch. Adds a lot of realism to an otherwise somewhat graphically simple game.
love the effect of the shadows on those pillars back there. Hello there. Frost wolves. So far these snow wolves don't seem to ever have any loot to pick up. But I imagine there is at least a tiny chance of getting some. The UESP should have information about stuff like that, but uh, I certainly don't have that memorized. touches that went into designing this place. You really can't carry too much more. That's unfortunate. Soon it might be time to go back to civilization to sell a few things. What else did we have here? Plate helm? Well, okay. Another enchanted plate home. Wow. We do have a lot to sell, and it would be nice to repair our dagger again, so. Perhaps we should just go and exit this dungeon. It's a fortress of ice. If I just go south and east for a while, I should be able to get out without too much trouble, hopefully. Unfortunately, I believe if we leave the dungeon and come back, any walls we've destroyed will be repaired. Or restored, whatever word you want to use. Um, oh my. Interesting. Can I 
destroy these. It seems like I can't. Let's see if I can get this one. There we go. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. So we'll just make a quick trip to whatever village is closest and then come back. to ammo. The town of Skyrim greets you, the people smiling in friendly welcome. You know, I did call that a bug before when it says things like the town of Skyrim. But, strictly speaking, it is a town of Skyrim, so I suppose that could have been intentional. Oh, interesting layout here. Very interesting. I wonder if these are all walls, or perhaps uh, hedges? Ah, and what might that be? A nobleman's house, perhaps. Probably not the Mage's Guild, but that's possible. What is this structure right in front of us? Nothing too special. No doors whatsoever. Looks like we should have an inn here. Let's try this side first. Excellent. The Dancing Griffin. in the evening. Okay. Rubbing your hands briskly together, you enter the dancing griffin. The fireplace is so grand in the room, in short time you feel almost too warm. Beautiful place. What are you doing here, friar? Better save first. If it'll let me, probably won't. The Conclave of Charity has given me the name Herald. 
I am a little familiar with the town outside my temple. I'll tell you anything I know. Rumors? I'd ask someone else with a better ear. Where's the nearest inn? I'm not sure. Try asking someone outside. <laughs> okay. Alright. Perhaps he's had a bit too much to drink. Greetings. Speaking of drink, we could use a little something. Sulfur water? No thanks. That doesn't sound so great. Gutgeist? Not so sure about that either. I think uh, we shall go for an old favorite, cider. For now, we'll just say one day. sprite ever before. Who are you? I'm a musician, obviously, playing music. At least I was until you interrupted me. The name's Sararne Jurgerson. Well, what do you want? I'm a busy man. Rumors? I'm sure I haven't heard anything you'd care about. And you, good bard. I'm a musician, obviously, playing music. At least I was until you interrupted me. The name's Kierik Fenrarnsson. They don't have much to say. We have a couple of synchronized drinkers over here. Beautiful. <laughs> Three synchronized drinkers. And a floating book. Let's be on our way. Although I am a little curious about the layout of this place. the White Wolf. I never met a High Elf I liked. Go away now. Okay. I had a feeling I'd probably regret that. So here we are. Just have a bit of business to get done with, and then back to adventuring. Dancing Huntsman, The Haunted Sword, I love all the different store names and inn names and so forth. The NPC names are kind of fun too. into the Order of the Red Rose Sanctuary as you enter. The air is as cold as the outdoors, yet filled with the smell of incense and the sound of the clergy praying. Nice fountain to drink from. And a priest to chat with. What news have you? 
nothing at all. Very well. The Dirty Wolf Ah, finally, a blacksmith. That might be the mage's gill. Hmm. Basic supply storm. Sorting's general supply storm. A very perplexed NPC in there, it seems. Ing Mark's finest weaponry store. Sure enough, it does look to be the Mage's Guild. Hello there, unsavory character. Enter the dim mages guild, warmed by a spell that brings life back into your chilled body almost immediately. Books, charms, scrolls, and other relics, older than human memory, are kept in pristine condition here by the same mystic energy. I love all this flavor text. It's so good. Excuse me, good sir. Fellow mage. 
let's detect some magic, shall we? Stamina. And this potion. That may have been a potion of cure disease or restore power, I'm not sure. I believe our business is done here, although I might as well see what magic items you have. Hmm. Interesting that the Crystal of Shocking costs more than the Mark of Shocking. I don't know if that's purely a matter of how many charges they have, or if crystals always have more charges than Marks. stock up on more potions. Time to sell a few more things, and then drop off some items for repair. I suppose we will use the services of Fenrin's Professional Supply Store. Spot repairs. Just in case. Actually, let's see. I believe that. I don't like that placement. There we go.
Squinting from the glare of the sun outside, grow accustomed to the gloom of Baroness Hell's audience chamber. Should that be pronounced Hell's, Hellas? I'm not sure. In any case, let's see if she has anything to say. She might want to offer someone like Arendil a request. Greetings there, Baroness. My dear Arendil, what a miserable day you have picked to visit my town. In truth, though, I'm very happy to see you, for I found myself in a dire situation. I need someone to capture someone, and I am willing to pay quite handsomely. Can you help me? Sorry, I am too busy for capture quests. Hmm. I am a bit curious to hear what this kind of quest is like, though. I've never seen one with this kind of description before. So actually, Arendil is intrigued, and he decides he does have enough spare time he could perhaps do this, especially while waiting for repairs to be completed. There is a criminal, a villainous ranger by the name of Moyarka Fenrinson, who is free in his home, the Cavern of Moyarka. Despite his many crimes against me and my rule, I need him before me by Morgus 21st of Morning Star, or he may escape my justice. He has a number of powerful allies, but my counselors tell me the Under King in particular will try to defend him. On your successful and punctual return with the accursed ranger in chains, you will be paid 440 gold. Can I rely on you? Yes, I believe you can. Excellent. I've inscribed the location of the place on your map of Tamriel. Use that to guide you. Good luck to you, Ayurendil. May your mission be a success. I decided to accept this because it's a bit different than your typical rescue or escort quest. This is an actual capture quest. I've never captured a criminal with any of my characters before. Interesting palace layout here. Hm. A nice little pool, which you might be swimming in. Floating statues. Well, that was a refreshing bath. Now back to the town. So yes, that will just be a brief and hopefully mildly interesting side quest. Could be very interesting. We shall see. give Aaron a little something to do while waiting for the repairs to be completed. Although I may not want to risk going out and completing that quest and then coming back to get my items. I'll probably still just go ahead and wait the 10 days here in town. So let's finish exploring this town. And the main reason I'm doing this is because I want to go ahead and see if there are any other interesting daggers, or perhaps bucklers, but mainly daggers, that Arendel may want to purchase as backup weapons. If there's a very interesting staff, then he might go for one of those as well.
I shouldn't need too many backup weapons, however, because in the future I'll also be much more careful. I won't waste so much of my weapon's durability against enemies I don't really need to defeat. Or at least not against any of the ones that are heavily armored, like those warriors and knights. Not worth it. I love this house design here. Those textures are fun. So this fancy place, amid these little pools of water, is the Dirty Huntsman. Let's go ahead and stay here. Seems an interesting place. Although... Okay, I was thinking about just staying for 10 days to get our things repaired. Actually, we probably don't want to do that because... are on a schedule for this quest we've accepted. We need to bring that ranger back by the, 
by Morndis the 21st in Morningstar. Okay, so we can stay here for just one night, I suppose. Mold wine is the featured drink today in the Dirty Huntsman. You shake the cold from your shoulders and think that nothing could sound better. Mold wine, indeed. I'll go ahead and uh, say that's what the white wine is. I'll go for that. Would like a room? Single. One day, please. said that those who associate with the Underking risk their sanity itself. The ghost before you proves this wisdom. Oh my. This is a problem. Let's, uh... Let's go ahead and uh, get out of here. Where should I save? Let's go ahead and quickly get this Cavern of Mayark handled. Ten days to travel there. So yeah, that'll certainly take care of the time we need to uh, have our items prepared. And then some by the time we get back. Alright. This is a slight risk, but let's do this. Today, the people of Catherine of Nyark are having the new life festival in celebration of a new year. The Emperor has ordered yet another tax increase in his new life address, and there is much grumbling about this. Still, despite financial difficulties, the new life tradition of free ale at all the taverns in the village continues. The people of Cavern of Mayark certainly know how to hold a celebration. Now this is interesting. You sense the ranger is nearby. So this place, it's very interesting that we got that kind of flavor text despite it being kind of like a dungeon. So this is, in a sense, being treated as something in between a dungeon and a town. get this handled quickly. It claims that the ranger was nearby, so where is he? This might be the first time I've taken a quest where the Under King was involved. A terrible necromancer who already had sent one ghost after me. Will he have any undead surprises here in this den of thieves and other nerdy wells? Possibly. But they are celebrating the, uh, what did they call it, New Life Day or New Life Celebration, whatever. Um, Perhaps that would help explain why I'm not facing too many hostilities from local ne'er-do-wells.
hopefully will not face a lich. That would be the worst. The worst possible undead to face. My hope is that we'll face off against the ranger himself and no one else. Something like that. Although I'm not sure if I'll have to fight the ranger, or if the ranger will just be standing there. Just like an NPC that needs to be rescued. Oh my, that might be a homunculus? I think that might be what those are called. Okay, we best be careful here. Perhaps... Hmm, I don't have very many spell points. Can I get spell resistance? Hopefully it can be harmed by the Selvan Dagger. If not, I'm in trouble. But yeah, I think it seems to be getting hurt. I'm still shielded and resistant to spells. Might be a very tough enemy. This is the first time Arendel has faced such a foe. They seem reminiscent of what we would call imps in Daggerfall, but I'm pretty sure in Arena this is a homunculus. I don't know what it's weaknesses might be, or its resistances. Perhaps I'll try shocking it. Ooh, that worked well. And it seems to have left no corpse. Oh well, that's fine. Now I've spent a lot of spell points. Hmm.
Now where might that ranger be? be the ranger. If so, I'm here to, let's say, escort you back to where you belong. If you are protecting him, well, that was a foolish choice. Mayarka Fenrinson gives up his fight, figuring that perhaps Baroness Hella will be more merciful than you. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so here we have a nice bearded ranger. And I suppose we can mosey on back to the town whenever we wish. So we'll save here. I will briefly glance into some of these spaces, looking for anything else of interest. Visibility, please. Presumably, I have made both myself and my captive invisible. Interesting design this little place has. Anyway, I suppose I've explored it thoroughly enough, so on we go. Back to Amol, where hopefully I will still find my repaired items waiting for me. You walk through the gates of Skyrim ruled by Baroness Hella. The streets seem strangely quiet. 
and I do fear the Underking might still have some underlings to send our way. We shall see. Underlings of the Underking are nothing to trifle with. You enter the Gold Helm out of the frozen winter night, making your way closer to the fire. Now, this will be very dangerous trying to spend a night here with the captain. I assume I shall not get any truly restful sleep. Hopefully we won't once again be interrupted by strange monsters. Actually, no, let's, uh... Zero. Um, let's make it a double to be realistic. One day. Counter. Actually, let me try that again. And the sun has risen. You walk into the Baroness's audience chamber, noticing the many fine trappings and warm furs that decorate the area. The chill in your bones quickly thaws, and you feel your limbs begin to heat in the warmth of the brightly lit interior. You welcome the brief respite from the cold. Ahead of you awaits Hello, Baroness of Amo. Ah, Moyarki Fenrinson, you do not look so happy to see an old friend. I hope Eirendil treated you kindly. My palace court is meeting now, and there you will doubtless be given the same gentleness. Treasurer, give Arendil the 440 gold I promised. You have my gratitude, young Hyo. No problem. It was an interesting adventure, and anyone who consorts with the Under King deserves to be captured as far as Arendil is concerned. repairs. Thank you. 
So I'm glad all that went smoothly enough. And it wasn't too terribly long of a little side quest. Chill winds swirl about you as you enter the mage's guild and shut the door. Outside the winter's cold sets in without any sign of stopping. You stamp your feet and crowd close to a brazier that glows hot with fiery coals. As the warmth slowly seeps in, you notice arcane influence and mystical apparatus. You think you feel a strange tingling over your skin. Alright. Well, hello, wizard. A ring of healing, huh? Very nice. ready to head back to the Fortress of Ice. So we'll save, and once again venture into the dangerous steps of the Fortress of Ice. So yes, I have everything equipped as I wish for now. Oh, I'd forgotten to rest up. So me. Well, there we go. Tempting to go ahead and cast invisibility, but I think I don't mind fighting these crossbows. Where are you at? Okay, let's try to get the rest of this area explored as quickly as possible. Hello. So let's see, after those few battles, the condition of my dagger is still new. So yeah, as long as I avoid fighting those heavily armored knights and warriors and so forth with this dagger, then I should be okay. In terms of where I wish to explore, well, I think at this point I want to go ahead and focus on getting toward those stairs. Out of my way, snow wolves. I almost said snow elves. A very interesting and uh, sad tale surrounding the fate of the snow elves.
suppose this merits a glance. Oh, come here. All right, how would you like to be in liquid form? And you as well? Oh wow, okay. Now let's see, when did I last save? I think it was a while back, so I won't bother trying to maximize my bonus points. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay, I like that. Bonus to damage, that helps. We'll go with that. Level 12, huh? Not bad at all. interesting how the map is a little bit confused by these diagonal walls that we've put in that are treated a little bit differently than normal, um, you know, the normal cubes <laughs> that are used for the walls in general. So, moving on, moving on. or warriors no longer pursuing me. Okay, so here are the steps down deeper into the Fortress of Ice. sooner. Hello. Who were you looking for? Well, I'm sure there's no one here. Erendil? No, there's no one here who fits that description. No high elves. No mages that I've seen whatsoever.
okay, I'm just curious enough to see is there anything special in this little platform? Where is it? Right there. Nothing special. Okay then. Down the stairs we shall go. normal walls. Yeah. Interesting. Of course, why not? It's not as if all the walls here need to be snow walls. Again, I like the overall design of this dungeon. It's kind of fun, interesting. Um, just feels like a place with a rich and strange history. Possibly used by multiple megalomaniacal wizards, sorcerers, kings, and brigands. 
knows who else. Over the decades and centuries. destroy some walls, though they are beautiful, so Arendil is a bit reluctant to do so. jump there. Hey, that's okay. Let's go ahead and get uh, some more shielding up. Sorry, Wolfie. Today just wasn't your day. Interesting room. Time to use the tunnels. Hello. What sort of magic user are you? Hm. Well, none anymore. 
Thank you to the staff, Maeve. vicinity. Um, well, oh, who's here? I'm moving on. So yeah, it seems you can attack while climbing, that's good. Uh-oh. More frost wolves. I know they're called snow wolves, but sometimes it's fun to call them frost wolves too. Regenerating. That's not good. I believe this is the first troll I've faced. Not good. I think fire is what we need to ultimately kill it. How much fire? Let's do an extra little save here. Gotcha. to get another dagger, just in case.
Let's take a shortcut. Hello, wolves. I think whatever I want to find is somewhere around here. Can't move past them. Nothing of particular interest behind them. But frankly, at this point, I'm not too terribly concerned. I think for the most part, I don't feel as much of a need to try to gather as much available loot as possible. Arendil is now powerful enough, well equipped enough, that, well, and wealthy enough that that sort of thing just isn't as much of a concern. South, hard to say. Interesting symbols here. Runes of a sort that Erendil is not terribly familiar with.
in the way, isn't it? And round we go.
Now there's a new symbol. Very interesting. Whose emblem might this be? I touch your face, I'm in your words. I'm lack of space and beloved of birds. What am I? I'll give you a moment to think of what answers you might provide. There's probably more than one accepted answer here. Feel free to pause if you don't want to see what I guess. So of course this is probably something like air or wind, probably both are acceptable. I will type air. The door before you swings wide. Oh. Do I have enough spell points for a fire spell? I do. So long, high school. Pick up this treasure first, and this. But I do believe right there, we got the tablet that was our primary purpose in coming here. You have found the tablet that Thelen Karn spoke of. Once he has hold of it, he can use it to decipher the location of the Labyrinthian. Very cool. Interesting rooms. We found the information we came for, so hopefully we can just safely and swiftly make our way back to Winterhold. Interesting rooms. Hmm. Arendelle's not too bad of a lockpick. I don't think there's anything on that plus sign out there. 
but it is a very interesting platform. It's a bit tempting to explore and investigate some more, but I think that's just there to be interesting. It doesn't actually hide any treasure or anything else of real use. So let's move along. There might be a number of more interesting rooms available here on this floor and even a little bit above, but I think I have explored about as much as I care to for now. Erendil doesn't want to waste too much time on any needless pursuits. And here we go. And of course, we might as well just take another shortcut. Where are you? There you are. Blue eyes glowing in the dark. Now we're out. Back to Winter Hole. We welcome you to Winterhold. Let travelers find warmth within our walls. Let challengers find us worthy.
The mage's guild is so omnipresent that all the arcane relics within seem to be covered in a thin shroud. It is an almost soundless chamber, with only an occasional sigh from the pot of boiling liquid on the fire. Slowly warmth creeps back into your chilled body. Greetings, fellow scholar and mage. I had hoped and prayed for your safe return. I see you were successful. Your deeds will be sung among the tales of heroes. If you will wait a moment, I will give you what I promised. Thelen fits the piece into a larger tablet, then reads what is written. He gestures for your map. With a feather pen, he inscribes the location of the labyrinthine, somewhere in Skyrim province, onto your map. Well, beautiful. So that completes our quest to explore the Fortress of Ice and find the location of the Labyrinthian. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe to see more, and consider supporting me at patreon.com slash thedrake. Take care, be excellent to yourself and everyone around you. I'll see you next time.